he was a great leader, uh, a great dedicated servant uh, to our public uh, and to our democracy. Uh, and I'm going to miss him a lot. Uh, he meant a lot to a lot of us who served with him, but also to the greater community who understood his commitment. One of the issues that come to mind when I think of him is uh, his opposition to slot machines. And you were in that session when uh, slots were dis discussed. Uh, can you talk about that? Sure. You know, his commitment to making sure that we weigh all sides of the issue and make sure that we understand, uh, while there may be some positive to things, understanding some of the challenges that are being faced also. And so being able to think on both sides of it, but then ultimately at the end of the day, understanding that trying to figure out what the greater good of the uh, overall might mean for our community as a whole, uh, revenue that's coming in that we can do great things with. Those are the things that Mike Bush was able to see beyond. And so I remember some of those conversations uh, with him in the Ways and Means Committee when he'd come in and talk to us and really was one that I think helped shape us moving forward. I was so lucky to be able to um, serve under his leadership for two terms in the House of Delegates and, and know him prior to that as an organizer. Um, I mean, he was an incredible leader in that he applied the you know, skills that he learned in many years as a coach and a teacher to managing and uniting a really fractious and diverse um, caucus in the General Assembly. And it was incredible to see him stand in front of a um, you know, a, a fractious Democratic caucus of, you know, over 100 delegates, um, people from Cumberland to Ocean City and Baltimore as well, with a lot of completely different backgrounds and outlooks and get them to all feel like they're on the same team and they all um, had the same um, values to protect in terms of uh, protecting Maryland's quality of life. Everybody in Maryland really ought to be grateful for his leadership because if, you know, all of our lives are so much better off uh, because of his service. We have more money going to public schools than we've ever had in Maryland's history. Our um, environment and the Bay in particular is healthier and cleaner than it's been in decades. Um, we have more Marylanders receiving high quality um, health care and protected by health insurance because of his leadership and um, through the whole marriage equality fight we have now all of our families in Maryland including our same-sex families have the same level of protections and I don't think any of those things would have happened without Mike Bush so we all owe him a debt of gratitude.